This is how you will do the sums. Isn't it? With the uh, concept uh, that I gave you just now, okay. So with that, I want you to do exercise two point two, exercise two point two, number one and number two as your homework. Okay. So please remember exercise two point two, number one and number two are your homeworks. So after that, uh, I want you to go to the next topic that is zeros of a polynomial. Okay. So uh, just now I. explain you what do you mean by the value of a polynomial okay so the value of a polynomial at some point okay for example it was given as x equals to 1 x equals to 0 so the value of x was already given okay so you have to find the value of the that polynomial at the given point that is at the given value of the variable okay so now what do you mean by the zero of a zeros of a polynomial so zeros of a polynomial is that value of variable okay please listen to me carefully zero of a polynomial is that value of that value or values okay why i am saying this i will tell you value or values of the variable variable okay at which the value of a polynomial is zero okay so this definition is very important because the zeros of a polynomial you will require in many cases in class 10 also in fact you have a separate chapter for this in class 10 so that is why i want you to listen to me carefully okay so values of a polynomial those values of polynomial and those value of a variable in which the value of a polynomial is zero for example if i give you any polynomial okay any polynomial that is px so was px so the value zero of this polynomial px zero of this polynomial px is that value of x is that value of x for example if i put x equals to a x equals to a then at this point at this point the value of polynomial should be zero that is if i put x equals to a that is pa should be zero then a will be called as a zero of the polynomial px okay and why i wrote value and this is what do you mean by this the value means it can be only one a polynomial can have only one zero or s means it can have more than one zero it can have two zeros it can have three zeros so on what factor does it depend what kind of polynomial has one zero what kind of polynomial has two zeros what kind of polynomial has three zeros so that depends on the degree of a polynomial did you understand it depends on a degree of a polynomial okay not on the number of terms remember that thing okay it depends on a degree means whether it is linear quadratic cubic okay if it is a linear that is it is of degree 1 then it will have only one zero if it is of degree 2 that is quadratic it has two zeros and if it is of degree 3 it has three zeros okay so very easy thing that you need to remember if degree 1 one zero if degree 2 two zeros if degree 3 three, three zeros if degree 10 ten, ten zeros okay so whatever is the degree whatever is the degree of a polynomial the same number of zeros will it have understood so now with this concept okay with this concept so now i hope you understood what is the zero so zero of a polynomial means whichever value you put in the polynomial that will be called as zero only if the value of the polynomial at the given point is you will get as zero for example now here you are given as in uh, exercise 2.2 question number 3 verify whether the following are the zeros of a polynomial indicated against them so what do you mean by that now in question number 3 number 1 the polynomial is given as px equals to 3x plus 1 now you have to check whether now the value indicated against this polynomial is Minus one by three, so you have to check whether minus one by three is the zero of this polynomial or not. So how will you check? 
okay so you have you have to check this so now how will you check how will you proceed okay so now you have to see if the value of this polynomial at x equals to minus 1 by 3 is 0 then it is the 0 of a polynomial if it is not 0 then it is not a 0 of a polynomial for example now how will you proceed okay how will you proceed so now px is given as 3x plus 1 okay so now you have to check this value so what will you do you will put this value of x in this polynomial now p of minus 1 by 3 is how much means in place of x you have to put minus 1 by 3 so we have put in the left hand side now we will put in the right hand side through so now 3 into x x means minus 1 by 3 plus 1 okay so now you have put the value of x in the right hand side also so now you calculate the exact value so now this 3 and this 3 are cancelled so what will you get minus 1 plus 1 okay so minus 1 plus 1 is how much it is 0 so you got the value of px as 0 isn't it so therefore x equals to minus 1 by 3 is the 0 of the given polynomial because the final value of the polynomial px at the given point is 0 that is why it is the 0 okay so uh, to make you understand we'll do one more sum okay so we'll do question number 3 okay so now question number 3 is px equals to x square minus 1 and there are two values that means you have to check the check this two values that means at two different points you have to check since now you can clearly see what is the degree of this polynomial the degree of this polynomial is 2 isn't it so that means it will have two zeros as I already told you right so now now first you will check for 1 ok let us check for 1 so p of 1 is how much x is 1 square minus 1 so this is how much 1 square means 1 minus 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 therefore x equals to 1 so, because we got the final value 0 right so 1 is the 0 of this polynomial therefore x equals to 1 is the 0 of given polynomial right now again we will do for the next value that is x equals to minus 1 okay so now that means you have to find p of minus 1 you have to check whether minus 1 is the 0 of this polynomial or not so if you put the value of x as minus 1 you will get minus 1 square minus 1 so it will be minus 1 square means this square is meant for both minus and 1 so minus square is plus so no need to write so 1 square is 1 so 1 minus 1 again again you will get it as 0 so if the final value is 0 then this is the 0 of this polynomial so therefore x equals to minus 1 is also the so x equals to minus 1 is also the 0 of this polynomial okay so uh, students remember one thing you may not always get the value of the polynomial as 0 okay so sometimes you will not get 0 you will get something else minus 1 3 by 2 anything in that case what will you write therefore x equals to that value is not a 0 of the given poly if the value is not 0 then it is not a 0 ok so remember that thing so in this way you can do the other sum ok number 3 there are uh, I believe 8 questions so 8 out of 8 questions 2 I have solved ok remember 6 please solve it ok if there is any problem you can ask me ok but at least try ok now we will move to the next number that is question number 4 and we will do number 1 now in the question number 4 what is given find the zeros of the polynomial in each of the following cases so that means you have to find the zeros of this polynomial ok so we will do number 1 first ok so now in question number 1 you have to find the zero of this polynomial here the value of x is not given you have to find the zero of the polynomial ok so how will you do for that you will proceed like this let because we are finding the uh, 0 of this polynomial suppose px equals to 0 
okay to find the zero of this polynomial means you have to find that value of x which will give this polynomial as zero that is why we are assuming px as zero so now px means what px means x plus 5 equals to zero isn't it implies x equals to now this plus 5 will go to the right hand side as minus 5 so this minus 5 is the zero of this polynomial so you will write therefore x equals to minus 5 is the zero of given polynomial okay so now uh, move to the next question that is number 5 question number 4 question number 5 now here the polynomial is 3x okay so now how will you do we'll proceed as it is similarly okay so now let you'll write let px equals to 0 Okay, so now you'll replace the value of px as this one because px is 3x. So 3x equals to 0. Implies x equals how much? This 3 will go down 0 by 3 that is 0 only. So what will you write? Therefore x equals 0 is the 0 of this polynomial. In this case 0 is the 0 of this polynomial. Okay, so this is how you will do this kind of sums. So please uh, go through the video properly and uh, do your homeworks, okay? So your homeworks are exercise uh, 2.2 as I already told you. Let me repeat it. Exercise 2.2, okay? Number 1 and number 2, all. All sums. Number 3, I have done two sums. Remaining, remaining 6 sums, okay? And number 4 also, I have done two sums. So remaining remaining five sums so these are the homeworks okay please submit your homework Prop, uh, do it properly with neat and clean handwriting and submit it in the group and if there is any question and uh, any confusion you can ask me in the group itself okay thank you very much see you in the next video till then stay safe okay